Born in 1889 in Croatia, Axo Vinko was a renowned artist whose work was displayed in galleries and featured in shows all across Europe. After a stint as a professor of painting at the Zagreb Academy of Art, he moved to the United States. There he married the daughter of a prominent Jewish surgeon. It was just a few years later when he was, his work caught the eye of a priest. Father Zagar was the leader of Milvell's St. Nicholas Croatian Church, and he fell in love with Vanka's paintings. The priest commissioned the artist to paint murals on the ceiling and walls of his church. It was a grand project with enormous scale, sometimes referred to as Pennsylvania's version of the Sistine Chapel. Vanka toiled away at the paintings which would show Croatian immigrants battling to stay alive in the midst of World War I and their journey to America, all the while guided and protected by Christ and Mary, Mother of God. Vanka often worked up to 18 hours straight, but preferred to paint in solitude so that no one could interrupt his process. This often meant working straight through the night when the church was empty and locked from outside. While the painting was going well, Vanka's desire for privacy didn't go as smoothly. One night he saw Father Zagar walking back and forth up and down the center aisle, waving his hands and gesturing as if he was conducting a sermon, but the father didn't speak out loud. Vanka was annoyed at the interruption, but otherwise found the priest to be hospitable and gracious and chose not to complain. Several nights in a row, this scene repeated itself. Finally, Vanka left the church to take a brief break, stepping into the rectory to escape the priest's interruptions. Much to his surprise, he found Father Zagar in bed and sound asleep. Startled and confused, Vanka woke the man and told him what he'd seen. Reluctantly, the priest confessed the truth. Maxo Vanka hadn't seen Father Zagar giving silent sermons after all. What he'd seen was St. Nicholas' ghost priest. As Father Zagar told it, the church had been haunted for decades. The ghost was the spirit of a disgraced priest who had stolen from, from his parishioners and neglected his duties. The man, perhaps as a form of penance, returned to the church after death to right his wrongs. Vanka accepted the story and carried on with his weird work. He tolerated the ghost, but eventually took to wearing earplugs to block out the ghostly organ music, which played spontaneously. He chatted with the other regulars at the church, the housekeeper, parishioners, who all acknowledged the ghost priest. They explained that they weren't afraid, but stayed out of the church after midnight so that he could hold his sermons. While Vanka worked, he once saw the eternal flame blow out. Additionally, he witnessed the ghost priest light candles. Father Zagar often heard the ghost knocking on the walls of his bedroom. When that happened, he would tell the man to behave and promise to pray for him, and the knocking would cease for a little while. To this day, Vanka's paintings, often described unironically as haunting, still adorn St. Nicholas's walls. The ghost priest is still there to churchgoers. Especially those who are more sensitive have caught glimpses of him in the peripheral vision. One church janitor even saw the man sitting in a pew. Believing it to be a lost soul of a different sort, the janitor approached him and put his hand on the man's shoulder. But upon his touch, the ghost disappeared. I get it. I don't like being touched by strangers either. 